back to Worley Family Homestead. Hey, we're out here just a uh, cool Saturday morning. I uh, feel like the wind's blowing 50 miles an hour out here. So hope that the volume is okay because I got my little screen on there, but we'll see how it does. If the volume does good with this wind blowing today, this screen's a great one. Glad you're back today. And today we got another project that kind of came in out of the blue. You remember the other week we put up a new gate so Buck could actually go in and out of the rye field? Well, we've had a little problem with that. Uh, not with Buck, but for someone whose name I'm not gonna mention, Elmo has found out the gate is a good play toy and he likes to push things around and boy has he ever done it. So we're gonna try to fix out a way this morning to where he can't push this gate around. Walk this way and I'll show you kind of what we got. <clears throat> as you see here uh we had this gate swung around to the other inside of the rye field at one time where elmo had decided to push it back around this way and he's done it a few times not all the way around here but i actually had it on the inside and if you see uh one little quick fix i was going to try to do was to put a cinder block in front of it maybe that would Keep him from pushing it. Oh no. Uh, here's the cinder block up under the electric fence. The gate pushed around this way. The cinder block used to be way out here. So he's pushed it all the way back around from here to back over there. So we're going to try to do something a little different today, see if it's going to work. I need to go ahead and brace my post here up anyway because it's kind of. Since he's been moving it back and forth, it's gotten really loose. So I need to go ahead and tighten this back up anyway. So we're gonna see if we can maybe find a cure for it. All right, just push down this gate so I can straighten my post back up. Oh. He's actually twisting my post. Hmm. That'd be fine though. That'd be alright. You know, you know, probably twist around I may just, just I may just leave it back. swinging out this way anyway. Alright, now see if that gate is swinging around that way. You have to pick up on a little bit, probably.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I've got a brace post in there for that wooden post to kind of brace it and support it a little bit. My idea is to take and put a T-post here in the ground. I'm gonna bring this gate back over here to it. And I'm gonna take this electric fence wire and I'm gonna wire it to this post. That way, maybe if he starts pushing against it, there'll be so much resistance they can't do anything. So we're gonna try this first, see how that works. Now, I got it wired in two places. So, if that doesn't work, I think we're gonna try something a little more extreme the next time. What I'm gonna probably end up doing, <clears throat> since the electric fence is right here, may run a little bit of electric fence wire, put another piece of post here. Put a little juice on this close to the fence, that way see if that'll kind of make him change his mind about this being a play toy. Well, it is a cold day, windy day today. You can tell winter, winter is coming because it is cold. The buck's in the barn with his buddy. Say, Ernie, what you doing, Ernie? What you doing, Ernie? Ernie, what you do? What are you doing, Ernie? Yeah. Are you peeping through the holes looking at Buck? Yeah. Y'all want some loving? Yeah. I want some loving. And some loving. How do it? Huh? Hey, y'all buddies. Hey, little buddies. I see your little nose. I see that little nose. <laughs> but what you doing? Huh? What you doing? In the barn with your buddy? With your other buddy? Usually it's you and Eli. Now it's you and Ernie. Are you scratching, Ernie? Are you wicked? It's cold today. That wind is terrible. You better be glad you're in the barn where it's warm. We'll see you. Do you see Buck? Do you see Buck? Yeah, you peeping? Y'all peeping through the boards? Huh? Y'all peeping? You peeping? Looks like Ernie is eating him a little bit of hay. He's already starting to eat a little bit. He's got him a piece of hay in his mouth. He's a chewing on. Ernie, you got you some hay? Is it good? 
Are you trying to figure out what you're supposed to do with it other than laying in it? Are you eating it? Yes, you are. You're still eating some hay, ain't you? Is it good? Ernie. He's paying me no mind. He's busy eating his hay. Well, it's about time to go feed Ernie his last bottle for today. And we've got to think about it. We hadn't showed you how we mix his bottles before we go feed him. So if you've never had a, a bottle fed calf before, we're going to go ahead and take the time now to go ahead and show you how we mix his bottle and get it prepared for him ready to eat. What we like to use is Doomer. It's the Supreme Medicated Calf Milk Replacer. It's got the soy protein concentrate in it. And we actually like to use the one that's medicated to kind of help them out a little bit better. And this is really good stuff. It's good. It's powder. It's got 20% protein, 20% uh, fat. And it's the soy protein concentrate, and it, it's got other medications in it to help them out and get them, get them on the right track. So we'll try to show you how we mix it up and get ready to go feed him. I'll sit down over here. Okay, the recommendation is it's three level cups full into the bottle. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's just a fine powder. I tell you what, it smells like to me. It almost smells like a vanilla milkshake. It smells really good. Um, I hadn't had the nerve to try it yet, but uh, it smells really good. All right, so what I like to do first is go ahead and I'll take the bottle and I like to go ahead and put about maybe a pint of hot water in here. That way when I put the mixture in there, the powder, it's not as hard to mix. So what I do is I turn my spigot on to the hottest setting that I have. And I do have my uh, temperature gauge on my water heater set a little bit higher than normal. So we really have hot, hot water. And so I'm gonna get about a pint of water in the, in the bottle. There's about a pint of water right there and it's hot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it in the sink. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a cup of this, level full, just right out of the bag, shake it off level full. I'm going to sit it right here for a minute. And if you notice from the canning video, what this is, this is our actual canning funnel. But to keep from making such a mess, this is actually perfect. It sits right exactly on top of this bottle. And I can pour this powder in all at one time. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash the hands off a little bit. I'm gonna put the nipple on top of the bottle. We'll screw it down. And now you can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but you can see the water down here at the bottom, and there's the powder at the top. It's that thick. So all I do now is just go ahead and shake this up and get it mixed together very well. Put your finger over top of the nipple because if not, milk's gonna come out. Learn that the hard way. Oh, now you can see it's all all liquefied and all mixed in together. I'm gonna to now just take the nipple back off, finish filling it up with water. I don't fill it back up with the really hot water anymore. I just wanted the hot water to make it dissolve the powder like it needed to. What I'll do now is I'll just kind of get like lukewarm water, not really, just enough. You can kind of feel the bottom of the bottle and you can kind of tell how warm it is. 
you don't want to be hot enough where it's going to burn him when he takes it and burn his throat and burn his mouth and everything. So you can just kind of feel it. It's we've done it so much. It's this is about the right temperature. But I'll just get like a lukewarm after the very hot water, and it all kind of blend in together. You can just kind of tell by touch. There's four pints, and we're going to take and put the cap back on it one more time and give it another shake to make sure everything is mixed together well. All right, and Ernie's bottle's ready for him to go eat. <laughs> Ernie wants to the bottle. Are you moving?
<laughs> well, there you have it. There's Ernie's supper time bottle. Uh, hope you enjoyed how we make it. Cleaned out the poop a little bit. Uh, so we know that the milk's working because he's converting it to fertilizer pretty good. And uh, got his bed made back up for him tonight. It won't be as cold tonight as it has been, but we got him all set and ready to go to bed. So. Hey, Elmo. Y'all didn't eat your hay yet? Y'all already eat your hay up already? Well, look at this mess. Ain't y'all in the wrong style? What are y'all doing in here? Probably the buck ain't got all y'all. Dorky, I want to see you. 